Welcome to Relate Higher, a podcast dedicated to providing the leading standard in conscious higher relating and to teaching you a conscious framework for all of your relationships. This is your go-to resource for developing meaningful, conscious relationships across your life. I'm your host, award-winning relationship coach and consultant and former family lawyer, Letitia Ringe. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back to the podcast. Today we're answering the question, where do I begin? This is a really important question to ask and to have answered because it will set you up for success along your journey of improving and transforming the quality of your relationships. So I want to give you a bit of a summary episode because we've gone into a lot of detail so far on the podcast and now I want to break it down to make it really, really simple and easy for you to follow along on the podcast as we move forward and dive deeper into some of these concepts we've explored already. So the place where you begin is in the intentional process that we're going to be taking you through on the podcast. This process we're taking you through will be diving deeper into each pillar of the Relate Higher framework. You'll remember that the first pillar is all about entering into and being in conscious relationship with the other people in your life. So that's across your intentional relationship ecosystem, as well as within the four different relationship areas, which are your romantic, professional, friendship and family relationships and within your specific relationships that fall within those four areas. So whether we're taking a macro perspective or we're getting down to the details to the specific relationship, all we want to enter into consciously. And so I'm going to be sharing with you how to do that in episodes that are coming up. So this is all about entering into conscious relationship with others. The second pillar of the Relate Higher framework is about stepping into and cultivating a conscious relationship with yourself. This is how you build your self-awareness, you build your relational awareness as a result of your own self-awareness, and it's what allows you to have the capacity to be in conscious relationship with other people. It's really, really important that you delve deeply into this area so that you can move forward consciously in your relationships. And then the third pillar of the framework is that you approach where you are right now within your relationships and where you're going consciously. There are very specific processes and tools that you will need based on where you are in the relationship, as well as which relationship area we're actually looking at. And so on the podcast, we're going to dive deeply into each of those different stages of a relationship, as well as the different areas of relationships, romantic friendship, family, and professional. So that's what's coming up on the podcast. And the way that I recommend you approach applying what you're learning to your life and relationships is as follows. You can either apply what you're learning to one specific relationship in your life or to a number of specific relationships in your life, or you can apply it to a whole area of your relationships, which again are the four areas, romantic, friendship, professional, and family. Or you can apply what you're learning to your overarching intentional relationship ecosystem. So just as you think about your community as a whole, you're really thinking about how you can apply these concepts across the board. And you'll find exciting and innovative ways to do that simply through that invitation. Now, as we go through the later episodes on the podcast where we're talking about specific relationship areas as well as specific stages of the relationship, that might prompt you to focus on a different relationship and, of course, in some cases on a different relationship area. And that's great because it means throughout the podcast, you're going to touch on all the relationship areas as well as all the different phases. And so over time, you'll start improving the way you're showing up across your relationships and across your relationships ecosystem as a whole. That's beautiful. Also, it's important to know that no matter which relationship or which relationship area or whether you just take a blanket approach and focus on all of your relationships and community and ecosystem all at once, no matter where you start, all paths lead to Rome. You will improve other relationships as well as other areas in your life simply through focusing on one area or one relationship or the community as a whole. So wherever you start, it will lead to 
awareness of your relational patterns, self-awareness, also awareness of other people in a higher capacity. You'll also learn more about conscious relationships and that's going to allow you to apply what you learn not only to the area of focus, but also across the board. Now, our relationships impact every area of our life with there are seven different areas to our life. Relationships are one of those and our ability to form great relationships is a form of abundance of safety and security and also support. It also improves our enjoyment of the journey in whatever area we're looking at. So relationships are almost foundational, a foundational skill to the success of every other area of your life. So also know that while you're improving a particular area within your relationships or even a specific relationship or just the relationships as a whole, you will also be improving your capacity capacity for success in other areas of your life at the same time. So I really recommend you really take the time and space to be serious and focused about what you're learning on this podcast, because it's an intentional process that you're being taken through for your transformation and your ability to show up for that definition of what successful relationships look like across your life. This is what the Relate Higher process on this podcast will be supporting you to do. So with that said, in the next series of podcast episodes, we're going to be focusing on conscious relationships and what that looks like being in conscious relationship with others. We'll be talking about conscious relationships generally, as well as conscious relationship principles and practices, as well as introducing you to the conscious relationship container that we've created over here at Relate Higher, which is what will hold all of these principles, practices, and approach to relationships in a very easy to follow way that we've built for you so that you don't have to just try to remember everything that you've learned about being in conscious relationships in every single moment. Instead, you've got a very specific process, container and tool to hold you as you move through your relationships in real life. So that's the first series you'll be introduced to. The second series, you'll be introduced to how to step into and cultivate a conscious relationship with yourself. And then the third series will be all about those different relationship areas and the different phases within the relationship cycle. So as we go through the first and second series, you might want to focus on, as I mentioned before, your relationship ecosystem, or you might focus on one of the four relationship areas, or you might pick a specific relationship to focus on instead. It's up to you. How I recommend you make this decision is as I've just told you what the options are, where to begin, you simply notice either a relationship or an area or a pull to the community as a whole, whatever pulls you more, whatever maybe either makes you feel a little triggered or the area even where you feel the most aligned and you know that, hey, I think that this area is pretty good, but I want to take it to the next level. It really doesn't matter what you choose, but just notice where your body, where your mind, where your intuition is pulling you towards, and that will be the best place to start. If you want to make that decision instead from a very logical, practical place, you might want to go for the low hanging fruit, which could be an area that is kind of okay, but could use some improvement improvement rather than going straight for the area that's the most tricky. However, if you're someone who loves a challenge and you know that this there is a particular relationship or a particular area that's causing you a lot of discomfort and you really can't focus on anything else without getting this one uh, focused upon and up-leveled and transformed, then focus on that area, each to their own. Remember that all paths lead to Rome and by going through the intentional process, you'll be supporting all your relationships as a whole anyway. So that's where I recommend you begin and that's what to expect coming up on the podcast. And for those of you who really want to dive in deeply, skip the queue and apply the Relate Higher framework to a specific relationship or a specific relationship area or to your intentional relationship ecosystem as a whole, I remind you that we have conscious relationship coaching available. You can find the details at www.relatehigher.com forward slash coaching. And there you'll find the details for conscious relationship coaching and how you can work with a conscious relationship coach to support you as you improve and transform the quality of your relationships privately and personally. All right, my friends, I'll see you in our next episode. Goodbye.
Thank you for listening to Relate Higher, your go-to resource for learning how to consciously approach all of your relationships. To deepen your learning and practice, make sure you're subscribed to receive the Relate Higher community newsletter. This is a weekly newsletter sent to you every Monday, providing further coaching and education to support your relationships. Subscribe at relatehigher.com forward slash community. And if you haven't yet left a five-star review for the podcast, we ask that you please do that now so that this podcast can reach other listeners who also want to learn and practice conscious higher relating. Because remember, the more people who learn, the better relationships we all enjoy. Thank you.